Welcome back to the Hot Tip Bets Daily Pick Show for July 6th. Game one of the NBA Finals kicks off tonight, so let's get right into it. I'm Today we head to Phoenix for game one of the NBA Finals between the Bucks and the Suns. And really the the biggest question mark maybe going into this series um, is whether or not Giannis is going to be play, whether or not how he's going to look out there, you know, questionable with a calf injury coming into this one. Um, so we're going to have to wait and see on all of that. Suns also Chris Paul probable with a hand injury, Cameron Johnson uh, questionable with an illness, but I think both of them should be playing. I would I would kind of assume so. Johnson, I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but I would be shocked if Chris Paul doesn't play in this game. Um, and we look at these two franchises historically, two teams that have, you know, been a while since they've been here. The Suns were here in 93, um, obviously losing to the Bulls. They also were in 1976. Um, so no championship for the Suns. Bucks also making two appearances, once in 1971, winning that one, and then losing in 1974. And throughout this playoffs for these two teams, um, they've been two of the best defensive teams in in basketball. Um, and they're two teams that I bet on quite a bit because of that. Um, and it's just interesting to see, you know, how how defensive teams this season, you know, being the Bucks and the Suns have kind of just <laughs> made their way into the playoffs, you know, um, just, you know, whatever path necessary at times. Um, and looking at these games, like we said, the you know big key for this is going to be the status of Giannis. Um, but the Bucks looked all right with him against the Hawks. You know, this Bucks team has done a good job scoring points all season. 118.2 points per game, winning by an average of 5.9 points per game. Suns, on the other hand, score a little bit less, 114.1 points per game, um, but very similar average scoring margin, six points, so, you know, a .1 differential there. Um, but the Suns don't do nearly as good of a job getting the ball inside, 45.2 points in the paint per game while allowing 46.6. Bucks do a much better job and also play better defense in that area, 49.2 points in the paint per game while allowing only 42.3. Um, and both these teams are very good shooting teams. You know, very similar here. 55.7 effective field goal percentage for the Bucks, a 56.1 effective field goal percentage for the Suns. Um, and this Suns team, you know, won both of these games um, that these Sig twos meet in the regular season, but both of those were by one point. One of them went to overtime. Um, so if that's anything to tell how competitive this series is going to be, um, it, it should be a great one. You know, we don't necessarily have the, the powerhouse teams, you know, low, no LeBron in the finals. Um, but to be quite honest, I don't think we need it. I think these two teams are going to give us a very competitive, very good series. Um, and one player is going to be looking to make a lot of noise is Chris Paul, you know, desperate to win a ring before he's retired or before he retires. Um, and he's playing some of his best basketball right now. Um, maybe not in terms by, you know, scoring like 40, 50 points a game. Um, but he's just, you know, willing his team to victory. We saw it against the Clippers. He just would not let this Suns team lose. He was doing what he needed. It's really going to be um, a lot up to him to kind of slow down Drew Holiday in this game. And without Giannis, Holiday and Middleton are going to have to do a lot more work. You know, Middleton in game six against the Hawks did a great job. 32 points in that game. Um, and for this Bucks team on defense, going to have to do a good job shutting down Devin Booker. You know, kind of got to get him out of the game. And that's one thing that this, you know, Bucks team does very well is getting second chance opportunities um, when it comes to rebounding a 24.1 offensive rebounding percentage for 10.8 offensive rebounds per game the Suns only pulling down 20.7 percent off the offensive last for 8.7 rebounds per game and they don't do a great job on defense either only 34.5 defensive rebounds per game while the Bucks 37.7 um, and for this Suns team I, I I do think they probably win this game to be quite honest I, <laughs> I I just see them winning I think they are quite honestly the better team especially with Giannis out um but with that said, five and a half points is a lot to lay in this, especially, you know, with the, the, the championship on the line. Um, I really think this Bucks team comes out ready to play. We've seen them play good without Giannis in both the regular season and against the Hawks. Um, and I don't think they should really have any trouble covering this five and a half point spread. And if Giannis somehow does play in this game, um, you know, if he, he's cleared and we're able to see him, I think the Bucks have a decent shot at winning this game. So um, I expect just a very competitive series all in all. I think the winner comes out, you know, in six or seven games and we just see back to back good games. So um, given five and a half points to this Bucks team, though, right now, I think it's just too much, even though this Suns team is red hot, especially in Phoenix, you know, a, a Phoenix crowd that's been absolutely crazy this series or this this playoffs. Um, but I'm taking the Bucks here. So like the Bucks plus five and a half to win game one.
And that is it for today's show for game one. If you want to see bets for the MLB and all that, head over to hottipbets.com. Um, also, follow me at Hot Tip Best Chris on Twitter and Instagram to get access to all of the picks, um, as well as the best stamp app so you can see all of that. Um, if you're not following the Hot Tip Best main account, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok to stay up to date on all of that. And if you're watching here on YouTube, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content. Um, most importantly, drop a comment down below. Let me know who you guys think wins game one. You think the Bucks can cover this five and a half point spread um, or you think the Suns continue to cruise like we've seen them for much of this playoff. So um, thanks for watching today's video and I will see you guys tomorrow.